fit door trim openings between 32 inches and 36 inches without modification. Openings less than 32 inches will need minor track modifications. For door trim openings measuring less than 32 inches, you will need to cut the track to fit the door width. For example, if your door is 30 inches, subtract this width from the 32 inch standard door width. This leaves a total of 2 inches to be cut from the ends of the top and bottom tracks that will be inserted into the decorative housing. Begin by determining your assembly configuration. Make sure the Brisa screen housing is oriented to the hinge side of the door. Insert one end of each track into the screen housing. If tracks were shortened, this should be the uncut end of each track. Make sure the screen threads through the tracks. Now, slide the sill plate assembly onto the bottom track. Then insert the ends of the top and bottom tracks into the decorative housing. If the tracks were shortened, the cut end of each track should be inserted into the decorative housing. Place the screen assembly onto the door sill and lift into place. For flush and short sills, the top of the track should be flush with the bottom edge of the sill. For long sills, the assembly rests on the top of the sill. When installing the screen assembly, make sure the housing flanges are snug to the edge of the door trim or brick mold. Then, insert a housing screw into the pre-drilled screw hole at the top of the screen housing flange to hold the frame in place. Be sure to not tighten completely. Next, center the sill plate assembly on the door sill. Then, slide the sill plate assembly extenders to each side to fill any gaps. Drive sill screws 4 inches from either end and 4 inches to the left and right of the center of the sill plate. All sill screws should be installed in the outermost channel, 1 quarter inch from the front edge of the sill plate. Insert the housing screws into all remaining pre-drilled holes on each vertical housing flange. There are two on each side. Securely tighten all of the screws. Then, pull the slider bar closed to ensure the latch and latch hook properly aligned. The latch hook can be adjusted as needed with a hand screwdriver. The handle lock assembly should face the inside of the home when installed. If you have a door that swings outward, you will need to move the handle lock assembly to the inside of your home. Here's how. Engage the lock and remove the two screws from the handle. Remove both handles. Remove the latch from the slider bar and reverse it so the logo faces the inside of the home. Then, press the latch over the slider bar. Place the handle with the lock on the logo side of the latch. Align and insert the screws through the screw holes. Position the remaining handle over the screws and align the six small dimples with corresponding indentations on the other handle. Finally, tighten the two screws. That's it. In just 30 minutes, your preset installation is complete. And thanks to our limited lifetime work.